The exam season is coming. One of the most important days in your NBA is on the days that are prior to your first year university examinations. It's a time that is filled with large volume of books on hand, high levels of stress, and no sleep for days. I remember the night before our final internals of anatomy paper group where literally the lights never turned off in any of the rooms in our hostel. You could hear the sound of students through the corridors studying in groups or reading out aloud. In this video, I'm going to share some of the tips and strategies which helped me top my first year university examinations. If you stay till the end of this video, I will share you one cheat code which will help you master your first year university examinations. For those of you who are new to this channel, myself, Omar Mohammed, I'm currently a third year MBA student studying at Gamma Mental College, Kohikot. I was able to score 83% in my first year MBBS examinations, which helped me become second in my class. So, let's get started. Before you begin the learning material, first let's dissect the question paper and identify the high scoring parts. This is how a typical theory question paper would look like. Here we have to identify the high scoring areas which can have a huge impact on our scores. So in that regard, I would start with the one word answers. The great thing about this section is that you are guaranteed 10 full marks if you answer them correctly. This is the only section of the question paper where you can actually score 10 marks using just 15 minutes. And it's quite pretty big deal, especially for those who are on the borderline marks between pass or fail. However, these questions are moderately difficult in nature, so if you are able to score 7 or 8 questions out of these 10, that's a really good start to your paper. Next up are the two long essays of 15 marks each, which sums up to a total of 30 marks. It is truly difficult to pass a paper if you lose both your essays completely. However, the good thing about essays is that they are mostly typical. So when you start preparing for any subject, always try to complete the essays first before learning any other topic. With the essays and one word answers, you would have actually completed two high scoring parts of your paper, which means that if you can perform well in these questions, you can score around 30 to 35 marks in just these two sections. The next tip is you should obviously make a schedule. However, when you make a schedule, do not start with anatomy. Everyone starts with anatomy, but this is why you should not start with anatomy as your first subject. If you give me 20 days to prepare for the first MBBS, I would rather start with physiology or biochemistry for a week and then study anatomy. Why is it so? Well, the reason is that there is a thing called as a Parkinson's law, which tells us that work expands over time. What this means is that if you give a person a set amount of period to do a work, the person can actually do that work in lesser amount of time if there is greater amount of stress. In our case, if you start with anatomy in the beginning, there is a chance that you will lax because you will have the tendency that, oh, I have 28 more days to study. Rather, if you start anatomy after a week or after two weeks, then you have lesser amount of time to prepare for your university examinations. And as a result, in that stress, you will complete anatomy in a shorter period of time. There are two mistakes which students usually do. The first one is that they neglect biochemistry a lot. And what happens is that even though biochemistry is comparatively easier, some of the students do end up failing biochemistry, especially if it's the last university examination. So what I would suggest to you is that you should spend at least 25% of your total studying time for biochemistry and do not neglect it. The second mistake is focusing on gross anatomy a lot while neglecting the other parts of anatomy. In anatomy, you have embryology, histology, osteology, neuroanatomy, genetics, and general anatomy. These topics will cover anywhere between 10 to 30 percentage of the total marks. So it's an easy pathway for students to actually score. What happens generally is that students will end up studying their entire time on the gross anatomy and completely neglect these parts. Rather, if they did focus on these parts, they could have easily scored at least 20 or 25 percentage of the total marks. No matter how well you have learned, you will not be able to write well if you do not revise what you have learned. It is absolutely critical in MBBS to revise whatever you have learned before going for the examinations. Also, no matter how well you have learned, you will not be able to perform well if you do not know how to present your answers in the examination. We all know that three hours is not enough to write everything that we know. However, we need to manage our time in the beginning itself. What I used to do is that I used to make sure that the first 15 minutes were spent for the uh, short questions. Then I would spend one hour for the essays, one hour for short essays, and the remainder of uh, 30 to 45 minutes for the short ones. So you need to have a time management plan beforehand and you must stick to that plan throughout your examination. 
what you need to understand is that it's always better to write something about everything than write everything about something. Since you have come this far, it's now time to reveal the cheat code. This is a book paraclete created by the College Union of Calicut Medical College. This is in fact the first book which has been designed based on the new CBMA curriculum. The book is filled with important topics segregated into essays, short essays and short notes. It also covers histology, osteology, embryology, genetics and is literally a complete guide for your first MBBS. The book is available in two volumes, one for the theory and the other for the practical. During our time, everyone used the previous edition of this book. Now the new edition has been curated according to the CBMA curriculum. For more details, contact the link in description. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.